Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed this video. So today I wanted to talk about the why as to my husband and I started our debt-free journey. I can say tired of not having enough, but that's the short answer. And I want to dig deeper into our background so that you can get an understanding as to what prompted us to get to this point. So we have three sons and we opened up 529 college savings funds for each one of them in hopes that they would end up getting scholarships coupled with the savings that would help get them through you know, their college education. We have um, our oldest, he's currently in auto sales. Our middle son is serving our country. And our youngest, he has decided to go to college. We started researching colleges. And of course, our youngest son, he wanted to go away to college. And the truth of the matter is, he would have to go where our funds would afford him to go. So in 2015, my husband got a part-time job in retail. So he would work full-time and then he would do retail part-time. And he also does uh, computer work. And then I taught college courses part-time and I do work full-time. We did that to add to the college savings. So in May of 2016, he graduated high school. He started college in the fall, which was August 2016, and he did receive a scholarship for half tuition. Um, the stipulation for the scholarship was that we had to apply each semester, which was not a problem at all. So he finished his first semester, that went smoothly, and then the second semester, which came about in January, which is called spring, so spring 2017, we were notified that the scholarship would be no longer available. That half tuition scholarship turned into zero after the second semester, which meant that we had to pay 100% of his tuition going forward. Now mind you, we could have easily gotten student loans, but we have enough student loans for the whole household and we just did not want him to take on debt um, for his college education. So after analyzing the accounts, we knew that us paying 100% of the tuition, it probably wouldn't get us, you know, maybe three semesters. So then I looked at my extra expenses and I'm saying my extra expenses is because prior to July 2019, my husband handled most of the household bills in a separate account, and I handled the light bill, food, and focused on debt in a separate account. And I noticed there was over $400 per month that I was sending to debt. I saw that I was paying almost $300 a month on a credit card that I had had for years. And then I was paying a personal loan. I had a cell phone contract, just your normal. And of course, student loans, which are in deferment. I asked myself, what if you were saving this amount of money versus putting it on debt? At the time, teaching part-time courses, that money, it worked fine and it was enough. But when the scholarship went away, we quickly knew like we had to do something. When I looked at my extra expenses, it got me to thinking, if I didn't have to pay this, then this could go toward his college education. So in June 2017, I took on another part-time job at night cleaning toilets. And I'm okay with that because I know I needed to do something more to not only help fund his college education, 
but we needed to get out of this debt and we needed to increase our income in order to do it because our resources were diverted towards making sure that his college education was paid for and again it's not a glamorous um, job but you do what you need to do to crawl up out of this debt we paid off over twelve thousand dollars in ten months and it was not easy it was hard work I can tell you that today it was worth it it started out wanting to increase our son's college savings fund but it ended up saying okay in order to truly increase the college fund we definitely still needed to pay off debt and that's what I did uh, I was focused on paying off our debt while my husband took care of the, of the majority of our household bills. I am a multimodal learner. I learn best by visual, reading and writing, and hands-on. And so that is what I want to project on this channel. It's simple for me to say it, but for someone that is watching that may be a multimodal learner or you may be a visual learner seeing someone actually write down the steps you know write down what they actually did to start their debt free journey that can be more helpful so in my next video i'm going to share how we started the debt free journey we have had much inspiration along the way people encouraging us and the debt free community has been phenomenal i hope this video was helpful i'd like to hear from you all if you're on this debt free journey what is your why let me know down in the comment section below so that's it for this video until the next time see you later